two different ways that you can change pictures on your site. And depending on the layout of your website, um, some different templates they have a little bit, it might look a little bit different for changing the pictures and the backgrounds. So I'm gonna go over all the different ways that you might see a picture if you wanna change it on your website and what it might look like or what the button might pop up to where you can easily change it. So the first and most basic one that we have is just if there's a picture kind of a standalone on a site and you'll see when you select it, it says image. So this one is very straightforward. Um, this is just an image that we put on the site. You can hit change image and it'll pop up your site files where you can go and upload media and you can upload pictures from your computer for that image. And what you can do in here too, it's really cool. Once your image is upload, it will pop up in here under your site files. And you can go here and you can click this and you can edit this if you want. So when you like say just a picture that you have in there, you can go crop and edit. So it's got all these photo tools that you can go to make your images really elevated for your website. So you can crop and resize if you want to enhance it or adjust it. You can change brightness, contrast, color saturation, all that good stuff. So lots of fun options in here if you want to change your pictures. When you're done, just make sure you hit save. And this will save a duplicate copy in your site files. So that way that you have the original and this new edited version as well. So once you have your picture, whether you edit it or not, and you're ready to select, make sure it's selected in blue here and just at the bottom right corner, hit choose image. And that will fill in um, your image right here. So that's the first type of image that could be on your website. The second type might be built into columns. So something like this, um, if you have where it's kind of like very even looking for us to get that very um, aesthetically pleasing look where it stays all square and, you know, there's buttons on it. Like sometimes there's different ways that we incorporate pictures to really make your site pop without like different size pictures. This is one of them. So this is a set of four columns that we have set up. And basically the picture is that column background. So what you'll do is you'll select this picture and it'll say column one and you can hit change column background. And when you select it, you'll see that the picture is the background here. And that's how you know you've selected the right one. So you can go in here and you can select image. And again, you can go to site files right here and you can any pictures that you've uploaded, you could upload more. If you're looking for a stock photo, maybe check out media from Wix. You can type in anything and they have a lot of great options. So once you get something selected, you'll just collect or select change background here and you're ready to go and it'll change the background. And so if you were going to change all four of these, you would just go one at a time. You'd go to where it's selecting column two, change column background, see the picture there, and you can just go to image and start changing them all. So that's the second way the images may appear on your website. The third way would be um, through your backgrounds. So some of the backgrounds that we have, depending on what template you have, um, there's kind of a uh, little bit of fun branding element that we've added to them. So this one, for example, has like a really fun like pattern in the background. However, if that doesn't match your branding or you want something different colors, there are a lot of options that you can choose from Wix to change the backgrounds or you can change it to a solid color. So select your strip and you'll see where it says change strip background. Go here. If you wanted a solid color, you can say you want it all pink. You can change it to pink there. Um, just like any other color picking. If you wanted an image, you can go to image. I would highly suggest that you do media from Wix unless you have something that matches your brand that you want to upload. Um, they have a lot of fun options here. If you go um, filter by image, so say you go to illustrations, this is where we were able to find the fun pattern here. They've got a whole bunch of different ones if you scroll through. So maybe you want um, that one, hit change background, and it changes it for you under settings, so now you can't really see the text here. So if you want, you can kind of go to settings and you can um, tone it down just a little bit with the opacity there. And then whatever color you had chosen behind, there's the pink, but if you want, oh man, I want it purple. Um, you can kind of play with the layers a little bit to give a really fun effect um, and something that matches really well with your site. 
So that's if you have an image and you kind of make it a little bit translucent and you have a color behind it and that's how we were able to achieve this effect. Another thing that you can do very similar to this is if you select and you hit change strip background, you can go to image. And if you go under media from Wix here, if you go to patterns, a lot of these that have or that are patterned with the white in the background, the white is actually completely clear. So say you selected this brush strokes one and you hit change background, see how it already kept the purple instead of having to uh, change this. Um, that has the clear background. So if you want a more vibrant pop, um, those are options that you can do too. So you can do background um, with the images or if you want, again, you can go to find an image and say there's a texture that you really like and say like the wood panel kind of gives it a rustic look. You can do that and it could be the full image for the background. So those are a few different ways that you can have images on your site that, um, you know, you have your basic image. Sometimes you have them as backgrounds to keep things very like neat, organized. And sometimes you have different backgrounds and a lot of things that under change strip background and then the colors, image and settings that you can go through and you can adjust to your brand.